Hello my friends, I'm Bee and this is Bee's Intuition and today we're going to do a reading. Um, let this be about good news coming towards the collective, okay? So let's just dive right in. Please and thank you spirit. What is the good news coming in towards the collective during this time? Please and thank you. And during this time is just whenever you see this. No specific timing. Please and thank you spirit. Anything else? Good news coming in for the collection. Please and thank you, Sarah. Oh my goodness. I ain't gonna hate on that at all. Okay. Starting out, the sun card happiness is coming your way so I don't know if that's like a big deal for you or not but like the sun card okay <laughs> uh page of cups <laughs> I think somebody has a little crushy on you two of wands either you or somebody else is making plans maybe just some big plans uh maybe making some big plans who knows the chariot card somebody is moving somewhere I feel like that's honestly, something about that feels like a daring action. Eight of Swords. I think somebody feels like they're stuck in a situation that they may not actually be that stuck in. Um, but we are gonna figure that out, obviously. Uh, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Something about taking good care of yourself, maybe? Okay, let's just start clarifying, shall we? <laughs> Starting with that Sun card. Trying to make sure I don't have lipstick in my teeth. Anyways, uh, clarifying that sun card. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is this good news coming towards the collective? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Anything else for that sun card? Wow. <laughs> that last card just like flew into the perfect position oh my goodness okay so let me just show you what that last card did because this is too funny clarifying that sun card um first we have the knight of cups coming out in this direction and then the two of pentacles upright and then the lovers card popped out right on top when i was like <laughs> shuffling here I just found that to be too interesting and cool. Um, so I feel like something about that placement must be significant, so I'm gonna read it like that. Also, the um, Seven of Wands and Six of Swords came out as well. Honestly, all good. Um, okay. Somebody here is making an effort towards you to balance out a connection here. They are feeling very passionate about this because like this was in this uh, energy and that's usually like an energy of somebody like being propelled forward or motivated forward or you know like some sort of energy that heads you know things forward. And it seems with the two of pentacles the, the energy between the two of you emotions definitely have been unstable in this connection but with the way that the lovers card came out like smack dab right on top of this like literally like that practically this person and maybe you feel different um i'm not sure this person feels like you're their soulmate and there's nobody like okay literally i'm getting that the two of you were literally made for each other. So it almost feels like this person, I think this person really takes you very seriously because it almost feels like they feel like you're uh, their counterpart. Like it almost feels like the two of you were like made in a factory. <laughs> this is gonna sound so weird. But I'm getting an image of like, like Barbie and Ken almost. And it doesn't have to be specifically those gender norms or those expressions of aesthetic or anything like that. Um, but it feels like literally the two of you are like manufactured to be a perfect match. But I feel like that's that, that, that is this person's 
perception of the connection that the two of you have. Like it honestly feels like, and I maybe this is just some sort of like sudden realization that they had because it feels like this is what is motivating them to come towards you so it honestly feels very enthusiastic. Um, this is all clarifying the sun card, so I feel like this is going to make you very happy. But also something about you make makes this person very happy as well. Especially because the sun is also in the lover's card. I feel like you bring a lot of happiness and joy and brightness into this person's life. Um, but it almost... This person almost feels like if they can't have you, then they might feel... This is a little dramatic. I don't know if this person seriously feels this way. Maybe they're just in their emotions that I'm tapping into right now. But let's say at the height of their feelings, they feel like without you, they almost don't have a purpose. And I think that's just them being a little dramatic, to be honest. Like, I think that, I don't know. I don't want to discredit that person's feelings, but that's a little extreme, don't you think? But, um... And, you know, maybe that's just the mm, sort of metaphor that Spirit's using just to kind of show how drastically this person desires a connection with you. Um, but it really does feel like this person sees you as their counterpart. Like, you two are so compatible in this person's mind. Like, you go together like peanut butter and jelly. You know, like, it's just a classic. It's like so clear that the two of you belong together like it's just like obviously like literally obviously and so I feel like honestly with that the way that the lover's card came out so like intensely and like fell in that perfect position I feel like I don't know something about this feels almost sudden I don't want to say that this person I don't know I don't think that they I don't think this is somebody that you don't know. I want to say it that way, but I also don't know if you know this person super well. But I almost feel like maybe this, maybe this has been a, a thought in the back of their mind or something, but something, I feel like, I don't know, something about that lover's card tells me like, maybe they had some sort of dream or something. And it's just like, now they're like, there's something like they have their foot on the gas pedal here. Like, that's just, like, it's so clear all of a sudden. And also, again, this is clarifying the sun card. So when we think about the sun card in reference to maybe following the moon card, that's things being brought to light that were once hidden. So maybe their feelings were almost even hidden to themselves. And then something came in and illuminated this. And it showed how clearly the two of you were meant to come together. And for all of those out there that like either have a connection or aren't interested in romance, this could definitely be something about a friendship as well. Like two friends that are like perf, like peas in a pod, you know, like you, the two of you can even maybe even finish each other's sentences. And that brings a lot of happiness to both of you. Um, but I mean, I feel like mostly it's probably going to be romantic, but apply it as you best see fit for your situation, of course. And with that seven of wands, like this person has a surge of energy running through their veins. Like, like it feels like adrenaline is pumping through their veins and they're just like, I am going to fight for this right now. Like, I feel like, and maybe they even feel like it may not, maybe in their mind they feel like they're not, like, maybe the best match or maybe that they don't stand a fighting chance, but they're still, like, very much willing to try. It's almost like I have to try, almost. And not, not begrudgingly, I have to do this, but rather I want like need it's almost like I I won't be fulfilled until I try um six of swords following that seven of wands 
Yeah, maybe there was some sort of like communication mishap or something that happened in the past because they want to move out of those murkier waters into something a little bit more clear, more hopeful. Um, this could also be them just like maybe going through something on their own as well. Maybe they're coming out of a time of, honestly, it feels like a lack of clarity and then sudden clarity. Something happened here to cause the sudden clarity. I might actually try and figure out what that is. Before I do though, bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles, which is so interesting. Honestly, oh, I think I know something. So I'm wondering like, why was it so unclear before and why is it suddenly so cleared now? And I think this five of pentacles is telling us why it wasn't so clear in the past. This person has extreme insecurity. And this kind of actually beckons back to the idea I was getting about like maybe this person potentially feeling useless if they like aren't if they don't come together with you, they would maybe feel useless without you. And then this coming back up about like mega insecurities here. Um, I think that this could be somebody that actually struggles with their mental health and their mental health affects them to such a degree that it affects their physical life as well as like their mental health, obviously. It like affects like, and maybe a better way to put that is like, it affects their actions. And maybe those actions or lack of actions feed back into that way of viewing themselves as somebody that may not have a lot of value. And with the six of swords, it could definitely be that this person is moving out of a time of feeling like this five of pentacles very low down and out also this could be how they were feeling in terms of the connection between the two of you there could have been a, a period of time like maybe without communication and this person felt very much on the outside looking in and maybe that's also kind of what they want to stand up and fight for is like they want to show you that they don't want to just be an outsider looking and they actually want to be involved you know they want this connection to happen here i'm curious what's underneath that five of pentacles actually three of wands so this is somebody i think that's actually been quite reflective for a period of time and i think it's them sort of analyzing their feelings of insecurity and maybe their mental health or you know the ways in which their mental health have affected them in their 3d reality and it's almost like something about that three of wands is like them taking charge like okay i need to stop either feeding into those ideas that i'm not enough or i have to start making better decisions for myself when i am more so in a depressed state Maybe there are healthier alternatives or something that don't kind of make the situation worse or something. It almost, it honestly feels like somebody felt very much out of control of something in their life and then it's like they're taking control back. Yeah, so when it comes to, yeah, I think I'm gonna just try and see if I can figure out what cause this person to have this sudden clarity because i'm curious i don't know about you guys but i'm kind of curious um please and thank you spirit what caused this person to have this sudden clarity and if it doesn't come out right now it might come out later in this reading but i just want to see if i can pull it out these cards please and thank you spirit could you explain oh 
Oh my gosh, that's actually really cute. I wasn't expecting that. Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, that's actually like really cute. Because like this is a um, nostalgia kind of card, you know? Like looking back on your past, especially when it comes to, you know, others, like memories with others and like thinking about the good times and stuff. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. That's so cute. Stop. Like, that is so cute because, like, I'm literally getting that this person. You know what? This sun card that this is all clarifying, that literally might be how they view you. You are the sun to this person uh, because. Woo. In their darkest moments, you were the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. That is literally so precious. Like, I don't know if you understand. Like, like this is somebody that has had some, you know, I'm picking up on some pretty rough mental health issues. And we all do. We all struggle from time to time. You know, it's not anything too crazy, but especially if it's a condition that somebody has like, you know, repetitive, repetitively or, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of episodes or frequent or whatever. That's really rough, you know, to live your life with some sort of condition that causes your brain to, you know, sort of sabotage you, sabotage yourself. Um, and your life and choices and all that kind of stuff. But like, what kept them going and what helped them see the light and the clarity of this situation was them reflecting on the times that you have shared, and the times in which you have talked to or touched um, this person's like inner child in a very special and safe way. Like, I honestly feel like you have something about you where it feels like this is, like, you're somebody that acknowledges that inner child and tells that inner child that they are worthy of love, just as they are. And, like, it's so special. Like, you're so incredibly special to this person. You also really make them feel safe. Oh, my gosh. That's what helped this person finally see the light of your relationship. Like, maybe the distance between the two of you had been for quite some time. Um, so maybe they have like a lot of time for reflection, but like they were thinking about you. If like, yeah, so if the two of you did not have a period or you had a period of time where you weren't t speaking to each other, they were really thinking about you a lot during that period of time. And it just helped to emphasize what they already felt for you and make it so obvious it feels like maybe that's the kind of person that this is somebody that needs time for self-reflection to really analyze like is this for me or is this just what i want you know because it's so hard sometimes detangling you know the ego from you know what is actually meant for us in life Bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. And I, I you know, I, I just keep seeing you as like the color gold. And I think part of that is because this is all clarifying the sun card. Um, and I don't know, like it was also emphasized in this card to me, the gold of the cups. And in this image, he's looking out at the sea and the sea is like super gold down there. And so I feel like this is just saying that they want to go towards their gold and you are their gold. <laughs> like you are like the most precious, valuable thing that this person can think of. Like literally. Like, yeah, yeah. like it's like, yeah, obviously. Like this is my happiness. This is somebody that brings me so much joy and brightness and 
you really are like the sun on a cloudy day, you know? Like, it's just like, oh my gosh, I needed you so badly and I didn't even know I needed you. <laughs> I don't know. Just very intense, this feeling. Yeah, that's actually so sweet. So I think that they're actually actively making plans to come towards you. Probably as soon as it feels right between the two of you. Uh, let's go on to the Page of Cups now. Please and thank you, Spirit. Can you clarify that Page of Cups for us? Please and thank you. Page of Cups, please and thank you. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got the Moon card. Two of Swords. Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune, Emperor, Knight of Wands, Bottom of the Deck, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So. This Page of Cups here, clarified by the Moon, Two of Swords, and Hierophant. So the moon card is like unknown, but also can deal with um, delusions or not delusions, illusions, you know, not seeing everything quite clearly. The two of swords can be about confusion. There's also intuition that links the two of those cards. So somebody, this page of cups, I feel, felt some sort of pull towards you. This page of cups could be um, the person that we just saw as the knight of cups in the last section that we clarified the sun. Um, so it is possible that this is the same person or somebody else. Um, so it is possible that this is the same person or somebody else. Yes, they felt a pull towards you, but it was like through their intuition, I want to say. And maybe I feel like it confused the heck out of them. And I think maybe it even kind of scared them for a period of time. And they were like very much in their head when it came to deciding whether or, or not they should follow those feelings. But it's like through maybe this person taking some time to really consider things, they've decided that it's very obvious that you and this person would make a very good team if the two of you were to come together for some sort of traditional commitment. It is possible that this person um, consulted somebody some sort of wise person in their life to kind of help guide them towards what they should do. That could even be them turning towards their spirituality even. Because it's like, like an almost like, try to think about what intuition would feel like to somebody that's not used to feeling intuition and trusting those feelings. I think it would be quite confusing, especially to somebody that's not spiritual. So it's very possible that this could have like, this feeling within them that kind of was drawing this person towards you, it could have been very confusing for this person and caused them to have to like, I don't know, turn towards their spirituality, maybe talk to somebody that knows a little bit more about these types of things and kind of gain knowledge. Like, how do I tap into this intuition and sort of decipher what it means? And 
how do I know that I'm being led in the right direction? It feels like those kinds of questions that this person would ask. And I'm also even getting like, it's almost like this person's deciding between staying in the dark about maybe their feelings towards you, maybe their intuition, like maybe even ignoring their intuition or choosing the path that seems correct and would actually be meant for them. Like it feels like they're very drawn in that direction of like doing what is obviously meant for them, but also it may be more comfortable to stay where, you know, they can just ignore those feelings potentially. The Wheel of Fortune, that almost describes to me some sort of like, um, something about like fate intervening or something, or some divine inter intervention in this connection or something. Like something happened here. And then with the Emperor and the Knight of Wands, this person decided to step into the energy of the Emperor. Like this is somebody that's quite powerful. This could also be somebody in a position of power or somebody that's just like looked up to, admired, maybe older, wiser. Um, It almost feels like stepping into the energy that is necessary for like them to step into. And then the Knight of Wands to me is kind of feeling more so like that's them actually taking action. Like this is them preparing themselves, coming into this energy of the Emperor. Somebody that takes themselves very seriously, is very much a professional very um, successful, stable, like a lot of really good qualities. A leader, somebody that knows what they're doing, knows what they're talking about. Somebody that's pretty confident. But yeah, there was some sort of significant event with that Wheel of Fortune. And it feels like the divine intervened in this connection somehow, or maybe helped redirect this person towards you. Maybe even like told this person like, hey, you need to like get serious if you want something to happen here. Or you have to maybe even take yourself serious if you want to be taken seriously by others. And then person is very passionate about coming towards you and communicating with you. It feels almost like this person would like to tell you about how they have felt like powers beyond their control pulling this person towards you or pushing this person towards you. Like it almost feels like they kind of want to talk to you about that that part the spiritual part of it. I think it really kind of really opened up this person's mind. This whole experience of like feeling something, learning what that is, and then accepting those feelings potentially and like seeing this as like maybe what they're supposed to be doing. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, you could just be vibing, minding your own business, maybe working on your money or, you know, whatever you've got going on, kind of focusing on your own stuff, your own projects and stuff that you have going on within your three dimensional, you know.
Okay. I feel like this is gonna be a continuation of this story. I almost feel like this is a continuation of the first part. So yeah. Um, yeah, it feels like a continuation. Honestly, yeah, let's just go into that Two of Wands then. Please and thank you. Can you clarify that Two of Wands? Please and thank you, Spirit. Oh. Anything else? Interesting. Thank you. Anything else for that Two of Wands? Okay, clarifying that two of wands, we have three of cups, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles came out in the reverse, judgment, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. You know what? friend of yours or maybe like if it's not a friend of yours it could just be somebody within your community somebody that you're friendly with you know doesn't have to be like oh yeah I got this person on speed dial or anything like that you know um yeah it feels like they were very much like I almost feel this sense of like being adamant about like the two of you like being friends and that's it like the four of pentacles they were like this is what we are and this is how it's going to stay like this is somebody that's like very like yes i am certain of this that is the only way that this is going to happen is us being friends friends forever you know bffs like and again, like this doesn't have to be specifically somebody in your friend group. This could be even somebody that like wanted to start out as friends, maybe. But that doesn't suit them anymore. I think that the fact that they don't want to be friends, I think is kind of surprising to them in a way. I feel like they were very determined <laughs> with the four of pentacles to be like only friends friends and friends alone or maybe they thought like maybe even put it like a time frame on that like we're gonna be friends for a certain amount of time and then we can move into more romantic stuff like it almost feels like this person maybe had a specific set plan <laughs> in their mind but it feels like that is changing quickly because this is all clarifying the two of wands and two of wands to me is sort of like a plan making card like, this is somebody that's changing their mind about something. Especially because that Four of Pentacles um, upright was followed by the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And I take that as impatience. Because upright, I feel like this is a card of patience or needing to be patient or something about patience being necessary. But in the reverse, I'm getting like, somebody's getting sick of being patient. <laughs> or waiting. Like, they're like, no. No, I've had enough waiting. And then with the judgment card. Like it. This is so funny. <laughs> it's literally. This is so funny. It almost feels like. Okay, I don't know. Something here is making a person decide and maybe out of the blue almost. Yeah, I feel like maybe even almost out of the blue, this person's just like throwing away the plan that they originally had that they were almost like so strictly almost confined to. And they're just like, let's throw that out of the window and I'm just gonna go for it. Like literally like judgment, I'm getting like, it feels like, like especially it's like, like the nudity is really emphasizing to me that they want to be seen 
by you. Like it feels like they want to come towards you so that you can decide on what you feel or what, what you want with them. And it feels like it's going to be specifically romantic or like within a union dynamic. Like, I feel like they're going to make themselves abundantly clear. Like, there's such, when I, like, when I get drawn to the nudity specifically, that is, a, like, a message to me about coming clean or letting it all show, you know, like, not hiding anything, not having anything to hide, just laying it all out there, putting it all on the table. Like, so this feels like maybe this would even be potentially this person expressing their feelings to you. Maybe if they've been feeling like these feelings build up for a period of time, they want to express that. Like, it literally feels like I'm laying everything out on the table so you know and you can make that decision. Like, it almost feels like in a way, and maybe this is just the way that their brain is sort of working it out in their mind, is like you're the judge and they have to like build a case and so they're like I have feelings for you um maybe I'm single like you know throwing out like the different key piece of pieces of information that would be helpful for you to know or would make them a convincing person to come into union with or something like it really does feel like this person is just like I need to let this person know and it almost feels it does feel sudden I I feel like there's some sort of outside especially if this is a continuation of the same storyline that we've already been picking up on if this is the same person as we had before, I feel like there's some sort of, I feel like, yeah, there's some sort of outside something that made this person suddenly shift gears. And either spirit is going to show that eventually, or maybe I might just have to ask like what this event was. I'm so curious what was that and it feels like it was like an outside thing I don't know um and like with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck like this person sees you as like you know you two would make a very good couple a good team you know coming together would be a celebration something to be celebrated something to be sh cherished something worth bragging about almost is what I'm getting and something that would make the two of you incredibly happy you know what I think I'm going to clarify the rest of the cards and then if I still don't have that like event like you know whatever that event was or is that like switched this person's energy around I'm gonna have to ask the cards but I don't want to like speak over spirit because spirit might be trying to like lay it out for me through the you know the cards that they're already spitting out so um yeah let's just go on and clarify the chariot card and yeah i'm really hoping that that event shows up because it's like what triggered this because it's like something definitely triggered this like this person was thinking in one way and it may be for even a long time and then suddenly it switched they're switching gears so it's like what is causing that? I'm so curious. But anyways, let's go on to the chariot card before we clarify whatever that event is. <coughs> okay. Please clarify that chariot card, please and thank you, Spirit. Good news coming toward the collective with that chariot card, please and thank you. Anything else for that chariot card? Please and thank you.
this is kind of crazy. So, in another another reader on YouTube um, has this little thing about like if something falls on the floor, then it counts more. Um, and so the card that came out onto the floor is the King of Cups, and you know something about that seems emphasized and then we have and this is all clarifying the chariot the page of cups came out this way interesting but then that's followed by the two of cups <laughs> also bottom of the deck is the four of wands again this is somebody that is incredibly like head over heels in love with you Uh, all of the cards that came out to clarify the, the chariot card are all cup cards. That is significant. And then the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, this person is in love. Yeah, so... And the chariot card is all about somebody moving towards their destiny. Um, and also it's about really like there's so many beautiful things about the chariot card and it's also like about moving outside of one's comfort zone like this person's being brave and they're going straight to what they feel is for them and I really find it interesting that the page of cups came out in this direction because that's usually something that's holding someone back and I find that incredibly interesting that that came out like that and then it was followed by the Two of Cups upright. To me, it's hitting me as like, honestly, like the Page of Cups is almost like, here's my cup of love. Like, do you accept it? Do you not? It almost feels like one-sided almost. And so that could have been a fear of theirs. Like thinking like this is gonna look desperate or um you know I don't know if they like me back I don't know what the reaction is gonna be um you know all those types of hesitations because it may have been a one-sided situation but it feels like there's something very like it feels like maybe this person suddenly realize that this is something that is felt on both sides and equally at that. Maybe even, maybe they had people in their life that were even trying to convince this person not to come towards you. Maybe try to psych you, psych this person out to not come towards you. Or maybe they saw certain things that kept kind of feeding into this fear of coming towards you and also you know maybe they don't want to come in as a page they want to come in as the king of cups and that's going to be way more successful most likely the outcome will be way more successful if they're showing up as a king of cups rather than the page of cups it really feels like this is somebody that's stepping up to the plate they know what is expected of them. And so they're gonna step into that role and be whatever it is that you need them to be. This is like really beautiful. And it's like, they're so determined because it's like, they see you as their counterpart, like. And I think that somehow, and maybe it's just through their intuition, maybe they're just finally trusting their intuition but like somehow they know now that you feel similarly or the same way like that there is mutual feelings here and the two of you would have a very equal partnership and maybe that could even be what the page of cups is referring to when it came out like that 
maybe they had relationships in the past in which they felt very not equal to their partner. Maybe they were made to feel less than their partner in a lot of situations and that and that could have like fed into their fear of approaching you. Having that cycle kind of repeat again. Or maybe it's something about the way you communicate to this person that kind of shows them that you're not like that. You're never going to put this person down. You're never going to make this person feel lesser than you. Because it feels like the two of you coming together and you're both bringing equal feelings, equal, uh, like, uh, equal relationship desires I don't know just like all those like important things that are important to have equal amounts of in a relationship it's coming in like that and it feels like the two of you coming together and bringing an equal balance into this connection but also maybe just like into life in general This relationship could be quite balancing for the both of you. Wow. Okay, um, let's go on to this Eight of Swords. I'm almost wondering if this Eight of Swords is going to show us what this event was that changed things. Let's see. Um, clarify that uh, Eight of Swords for us, please. Thank you, Spirit. What do you got for that Eight of Swords? Please and thank you. Anything else for that Eight of Swords? Anything else for that? Okay, that's late. Excuse me. Okay. Clarifying the Eight of Swords, we have Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Swords, Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, Bottom of the Deck, the Magician. This is really interesting. Okay, if I can pick up the cards, that'd be good. <laughs> okay. Eight of Swords is typically being really stuck in your head, feeling like there's a situation in which you feel like you just can't escape, but yet that situation may be way more escapable than you believe or than your perception allows you to see. So, somebody here, to me, yeah, like this really feels like, especially with the Six of Pentacles being followed by the Ace of Cups, somebody here I feel like was giving compliments. <laughs> I know, this is going to sound kind of silly, I think, but, like, I I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. No matter how weird it sounds. Um, it feels like somebody was giving compliments, but somebody may have not known how to receive those compliments. Like maybe they were like, if you were the one giving these compliments, they were maybe hopeful that, you know, those compliments were actually like flirting in disguise. And if it was the other way around where... They were giving you compliments. I feel like they wanted it to be obvious that these were, you know, flirting compliments and not just regular compliments. But it almost feels like this not knowing could have caused somebody to be in their head with the Eight of Swords. Like, 
yeah, it feels like there was a gray area and maybe this person doesn't work very well in gray areas. Like, oh, yeah, this could be somebody that straight up needs somebody to be like, I like you, date me, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> that sounds like kind of weird the way I said it, but. If, yeah, maybe this is somebody that needs directness, but they didn't have directness. And so that direct lack of directness in communication might have caused somebody to kind of get all jumbled up inside of themselves. With the King of Swords, I find it so interesting that the King of Swords was followed by the Page of Swords. Because it's like, King of Swords is somebody that like has a lot of authority, you know, knows what he's talking about and stuff. You know, pretty confident, compared, especially compared to the Page of Swords. But I'm almost even wondering if there's like a flip floppy sort of energy, which would make sense. If they're stuck inside their head about, I don't know what these flirts mean. And yeah, maybe in one moment they're feeling like, okay, I'm going to be confident and straightforward and just tell them what I'm feeling. And then that quickly changes into but I'm scared and maybe they don't want to know that and maybe I'm reading too much into things and maybe I should just sit in the background for now and just like, you know, wait for the right moment, even if that right moment never comes. Uh, so it feels like maybe this person kind of goes back and forth or went back and forth for a long time, kind of trying to like figure out if there's something there, something not there. Like, is this like, a delusion is this actually something oh and I was curious why the seven of swords followed all of that but I'm honestly taking this as it's not even a bad thing I feel like this is well you know it depends on good and bad is subjective but anyways um they might have been, uh, what's the word? Like the only thing that they were trying to hide here, it feels like was maybe their feelings for you. This purse. It's interesting. I almost am getting like this feeling of Somebody that's kind of putting on a poker face, especially when they're around you, like they may have a lot of feelings and, you know, a lot of conf conflicting feelings and stuff, especially if they don't know where you stand. And so I feel like they sort of present themselves one way in the three dimensional, but they could be feeling a different way within. So if they're acting cold, professional, kind of lacking in those emotions it could have just been simply out of fear that they may have been doing too much or they might scare you off if they come on too strongly or something but it almost even feels like this person's having some sort of self-awareness moment where they're like why am I doing this this seems silly like shouldn't I just be straightforward if I have feelings for somebody. But maybe that kind of feeds back into the, well, I don't know, I don't know what they're feeling, blah, blah, blah. And with the figure of the Seven of Swords, I heard um, that the cloak that is polka dotted is supposed to symbolize like not taking things too seriously, kind of loosening up, maybe having a little bit of fun, you know, especially if you've been taking things too seriously for too long, like loosen up a little bit. Um, and maybe that's what this person's finally deciding, especially if they're overthinking to the point of stagnation and of just being paralyzed with fear. Maybe they're finally deciding to like, you know, life is unpredictable, you know, and 
maybe I'll never get another chance like this one. So maybe I should just take the risk and show this person that I have feelings. What's the worst that can happen? Like it honestly is feeling like maybe this person's having a realizing, like having a, a serious moment where they're realizing I might be psyching myself out way more than is necessary, way more than is helpful. <laughs> um, maybe they were even trying to deceive themselves to an extent on like how they felt about you. Cause it like almost even gives like, like a gesture or vibe almost. Like it's almost like, I don't know, like you look silly. Like something about it is like, you look silly doing that. Like, and maybe that's kind of what this person almost realizes is like, you know, why am I hiding these feelings? Like, that's so stupid. Like I look si like silly, not showing those feelings. Cause like, what's the worst that can happen? Like literally. Like, it feels like, I, I don't know, something about like making a fool out of myself by not showing this person that I have feelings for them, by not expressing myself authentically towards this person that I really like. And then the magician at the bottom of the deck, like, clearly, there's like a pull towards you that is otherworldly with this magician, and... You know what? I'm almost even getting that this person could have subconsciously manifested you. And maybe this magician card is sort of saying, like, now they finally see that you are the physical embodiment of that manifestation that they were hoping for so badly. And so that could also be a part of it. And maybe, you know, Part of them realizing I'm being really stupid right now by acting like I don't have feelings for this person when this person is literally everything I could want and more in a partner like literally like it literally feels like I could write down a list of qualities and you know how they see you is surpassing that list entirely like it's even more so like you're even better than what they could have imagined. Um, yeah. It really does feel like they're never gonna get this opportunity again. So they need to act now. I think I'm gonna ask the cards like, what is this moment that kind of triggered this change because it feels like it was a change um with the four of swords over here i'm almost getting that maybe them literally taking out time for themselves maybe they're not somebody that usually meditates but they finally took out time for themselves to meditate maybe they're a person that usually doesn't like silence but maybe they took out time to be in silence to figure out what they want what they what is actually going to be fulfilling for this person and that could be when they realize it's now or never. Because, like, something must have happened. Okay, please and thank you, Spirit. What is this crazy event that took place that changed this person? Um, their, this person's mindset on this situation. Anything else, please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, well, that's pretty clear. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So when I asked, <laughs> um, what is that event that took place? We have the King of Pentacles, followed by the Eight of Cups, followed by the Chariot, Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups, 
I think that somebody had to leave behind a connection. Could have just been mindsets that were not helping them as well. So maybe um, that could have been what they left behind, but it could be very likely that this person either had a relationship or you know, maybe they were even just dating somebody casually that they had to cut things off with. They had to leave that behind. And there may have been a feeling of like bittersweet with that. Yeah, at least one person in this situation I think was heartbroken, but it feels like it was necessary. And I feel like maybe through making this decision was the moment that this person stepped into the King of Pentacles energy. Somebody that is confident, self-assured, stable within oneself. Like, yeah, much more self-assured. So it's like, this person, like it literally feels like this person just like took the reins back in a situation. The reins literally, like honestly with the chariot card, that's pretty funny. And it's funny, it's even funnier when you realize he doesn't even have reins to control those <laughs> animals at the front. But anyways, uh, the fact that it's a chariot and typically there's reins. Anyways, was my point? Anyways, anyways, so yeah, like this person, like, I don't know what else to say, honestly, because it's just like, they realize that you are their fate, their destiny, what is meant for them in this life. You are on their most enlightened path in life. And so now that they've cleared this part away of whatever was holding them back before, they are now clear to go towards what they really want and what they want is a new beginning with you a beginning of growth working together to grow something that could have a lot of prosperity a lot of abundance i also find it very interesting that earlier you showed up as the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and now they're showing up as the king of pentacles so like i think this is going to be a very good match for you and it, like in many ways and clearly this person sees you as a very divine match to them and they see like yeah so you may may not really know each other that well with that page there so maybe you still need to get to know each other and you know sort of establish things especially before you know jumping into a relationship um, but it feels like they're definitely in now in that energy to do that and they've done the proper actions that it takes in order to be in that right position for doing that with you I mean it feels like they're very hopeful very hopeful for this new beginning with the two of you a lot of gold cards backgrounds those are the happier cards of the deck so yeah they're going towards their happiness Truly, maybe they left behind a lot of pain and sorrow. The clouds and the rain in the background is really kind of catching my eye. I really do think that this person, whether it was another person in their life causing them to be depressed, or maybe it was just their life circumstances or their mental health in general, they came out of a really dark time and they're heading towards their happiness. Like the light at the end of the tunnel is you. Like truly, this is so beautiful. I really love this energy so much. Okay, <laughs> so that's the reading. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope that it resonated. And if it did, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, you can become a part of the Hive Collective because my name is Bee. Bees live in hives and you can become an honorary bee like me. And we can be a little bee family together. <laughs> And um, if you like my readings and you'd like to see more, be sure to click that bell icon down below so that YouTube actually notifies you next time that I upload. And thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.